getting dropped off by Gabriele here in downtown Rome having a croissant, pistachio. Yep, and a gluten-free brownie, really nice healthy breakfast, but it'll give us some sugar and some energy to start the day. What a fantastic way to start our time in Rome, getting hosted by my one very good Italian family and friend. So today we are right downtown Rome, so we're going to try and see as many of the big sites as we can and of course eat some pizza or pasta because we're here and it's our first time in Italy. Well, my first time in Italy, our first time in Rome. <laughs> so we're going to go start with a pretty Woo! iconic spot. It's 8 o'clock, it's already busy, but it's the charming fountain! Hey, right off the bat. Way bigger than I thought. Yeah, this is insane. It's beautiful. No wonder it's a sight. It's really pretty. Okay, we had to show them. <laughs> it's honestly less busy than I thought it was going to be. I've gotten a full view of it. This is insane. This has been in movies since we were growing up. I know, this is like iconic once in a life, I think. So cool. Classic. So cool. <laughs> we have a leftover pruna, so we're gonna throw it in for good luck. Can you make a wish? I got a big wish, okay. <laughs> Hopefully it goes true. Every fountain was pretty worth it. What a place Beautiful. to start. Yeah, absolutely okay. stunning. Yeah, we can't stop and smiling. iconic. Yeah. I know. We smiling all have from to here to here. <laughs> wow, but we gotta right. keep going. We got lots to cover though. We got some bananas because a croissant and a brownie aren't the greatest breakfast, so this is gonna keep us going, but we're gonna eat them somewhere special. We made it to the Spanish steps, so time to enjoy some bananas. We came early enough and there's not many people around. It's very sweet. Yeah, we went all to ourselves. <laughs> so we got a very polite whistle, but I don't think you can sit there for long, so we're gonna move to a place we think you can sit. Here you go. <laughs> These steps were built in 1723 to 1726 and were to link the Pincho Hill, which is up there, to the Piazza di Spagna, which is down here. We're walking back towards where we started our journey with Gabri. We're gonna go to the Colosseum, past the Altar. Anyhow, forget the name of the thing. A lot of monuments, but we're gonna go back that way because it opens really soon. And maybe there's no line, maybe it's less busy. Maybe it's really busy, we have no idea, but it's the Colosseum and we gotta well, see. And ruins too. Let's go. We're almost there. Back in primary school, I built this little paper mache model of the Colosseum, and ever since then, learning about it, I wanted to come. And here we are, finally. but you can only buy the tickets online, so we have to buy them online. Good thing we have a SIM card. Our tickets online added to cart for 9.55. That's in 25 minutes. Everything not bad. right now is not available. 27 spots left, so probably won't fill up by the time I press the <laughs> checkout. Look at this view though. I mean, how stunning is this? This is so iconic. This is incredible. I can't believe we're here. It also costs 18 euros per person, which is two dollars cheaper than the Acropolis. It's not but still, what we usually spend. No, but it's like a site. It's one of those oh, like bucket lists you have to do. see it. Just a couple minutes later, getting the email, and we should have our PDFs right here. Bingo, we got our tickets. Tip, if you're coming to see here, make sure you have data or you buy your tickets with Wi-Fi ahead of time. So we've just been chilling, waiting for our time to go into the Coliseum, but it's in one minute, 
Oh, we gotta go line up. We wanted to point out this gorgeous bridge behind us. Constantine's triumphant arch what built arch? in 315 AD. So we're gonna put the tripod and mic away so it doesn't get taken like in the Acropolis. We lost our microphone. So sorry if the audio is bad, it's coming straight out of the camera. No mics allowed. Okay, we made, we it, made in. it in. It was super quick, wow. super easy. There's tourists, but it doesn't seem like crazy busy, which no. is awesome. And this is so cool. So let's go look around. Holy crap. We actually haven't even got in yet. We have to show our tickets here. <laughs> All right. yeah. Thank you. Okay, now we're officially in. A bit bigger than my paper mache model I made as a kid. This is so cool. We got an audio guide to share, it cost six euros, so we can learn as much about this place as we can, because we're here, so might as well. Okay, this audio guide is actually really awesome. It's got like videos and pictures as well as just audio. Yeah, it's like a good five minutes. And five we minutes learned long. that one of the rulers actually filled the Colosseum with water and had boat fights in it. Like what? And obviously the animals and all that. That's insane. But... Yeah, no, it's just so it's just much. insane the history here. So surprised that there's a full-blown museum on this on the second floor up here, which they call the first floor. The ground floor is what they call. Anyhow, <laughs> we're getting a little sleepy. We're gonna need another coffee. Also, we're definitely gonna need that. This video slash audio is just teaching us about all the violent things that happened here. Yeah, a lot of unfortunately, very violent here. We just learned a family lived in the Colosseum in 1130. So it's had a lot of lives. This building. We're still in today. This is what I'm talking about. This is a view of the Colosseum. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, like I a symbol believe. of the ancient world and uh, just this massive empire. This architecture that was created over 2,000 years ago. Mind-blowing how intricately designed this place was, eh? Also, it's taking us way longer than we expected. Give yourself a bit more time. This, so give yourself a time. <laughs> Just saying goodbye to the Coliseum. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. This the fact that I've I've known about this monument my entire life, and we're finally here. Uh, and it's also fascinating the history and the significance of it all. But anyhow, we gotta go eat, get a coffee. Let's go. Bellissimo, due cappuccini. Salute. So we made it to our first Italian restaurant here in Rome. And we picked this one because they said they have gluten free options, so I think I can get pasta, which is very exciting. I think it's three euros more, but I'll just have to deal with that while we're here because I want to eat pizza and pasta. Gabri just finished his shift and he should be meeting us here in a moment. This pasta looks amazing. And yes, we will definitely have to do pizza and pasta, but Gabri said pasta is a priority. So I'm thinking the carbonara. Because apparently that's traditional for me. This looks like beautiful fresh bread. Mm. Soft inside, chewy crust. Carbs on carbs on carbs. Wow. Yeah. My mouth is watering. That Look at this pasta. Carbon. It is gluten-free. Oh my god. Oh my, that looks good. It's so good, Pete. <laughs> Cry, it's so good. Wow. <laughs> it's competing with Andre Libri's Carbonara, which is really good. He's perfected it. My mouth is watering. I know. It's really the best pasta I've ever had. You're kidding. No wonder people come here <laughs> to eat pasta. Oh, shh. I, I want can't to swear try on our channel. That's why. That's why people are like, oh, pasta, Italy. Okay, I believe you. The 
This is honestly the best pasta I've ever had. Wow. I can't believe it. That was, that was easy, wasn't it? Even gluten free. Mm hmm. Yeah. Your sanitary needs uh, and your culinary uh, wishes. That's it. There you go. Cool. <laughs> I'm clearly licking this bowl clean. This is fantastic. Well, that was an amazing first Italian meal. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that pasta. Gabby, that was, that the best was pasta a fantastic. Your, your city is pretty incredible. Yeah, we chose that ourselves, by the way, and he, he said well. it was really good, so Yay. we're pretty good at Google Maps and yes. restaurants, that's for sure. Yes, you are. <laughs> Another early morning in Rome, another breakfast at the cafe. Very Bevan nice. washed her dress, don't worry. We've <laughs> changed clothes. <laughs> another day of exploring because there's too much to see in Rome, so we're gonna try and get as much as we can done today as well. And we can barely scratch the surface even after two days. Yeah. All right, let's cross. Just sitting on the steps here observing front, the Pantheon. It is so gorgeous and huge it's and incredible. Insane. So quick facts about the Pantheon. Almost 2,000 years after it was built, the Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest reinforced concrete dome. Whoa. Yeah, pretty Interesting. crazy. It is one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings, largely in part because it has been in continuous use throughout history. Oh. And so since the seventh century, it has been a church dedicated to St. Mary's, Mary right. and the Martyrs. It's so the, this why. is the most impressive ancient ruined building. I mean, the Colosseum was phenomenal, but this is like so preserved. It's like right there. No, and so it's because it's always been used, whereas we learned yesterday the Colosseum for a while was kind of abandoned. Yeah, like sort of. For, for animals or people's houses, it was ruins. Mm -hmm. But this, I guess, is how did news. this happen? That's mm -hmm. incredible. Well, that was absolutely incredible. We finished walking a lap around it. Would highly recommend. Insanely cool building. But I can't believe it. It's, it's, we're in Roma, so we have lots more to see. The year 118 AD, like 100 AD, like a, uh, <laughs> wow, that's insane. Beautiful buildings everywhere, absolutely stunning. Next stop, right here, Piazza Navona. Like, every single corner you turn, it's gorgeous. Like, this is insane. Okay, well we have to leave the piazza, but this is phenomenal. This is St. Agonis Church. I'm saying that completely wrong though. We can't go into every building. Also, the obelisk in the back, it's not ancient Egyptian. It is an imitation of the Egyptian obelisk, but it is Roman. So we have stopped at a little coffee shop on a side street. Not the prettiest location, but it's still Rome, so it's gorgeous. But we stopped here because Keith really empties the bathroom, and there's no public bathroom, so you get yourself a coffee, which we wanted to do anyways. Coffee for a washroom, fair exchange. <laughs> Happily say, we have not yet had a bad coffee nope. in Roma, and they may be some of the best cappuccinos we've ever had. For cheap. Yeah, well actually I don't know how much this one costs yet because you pay at the end. Oh. Hopefully it's a good price. I think it will be. We'll let you know. So, it turns out those coffees were two thirty each, so they were more expensive, but that's okay. It was still nice and keep got two's bathroom. And we made it to the Tivere. Well, stunning views of the Tivere. And now we're being serenaded by the violinist behind us as we walk into another country. Yeah, we're going to another country and we can walk to it. Which one is it, Dodie? And it's gorgeous. The Vatican City. This view is insane. Now 
I think we're as close as we can get to it today. We're not going inside, but that right there, my friends, is a Sistine Chapel. One day. One day. Mm -hmm. When we have money. <laughs> Buy us a coffee in the link below. <laughs> And just like that, we're back in Italy. <laughs> Let's go to a restaurant. We gotta get across the city though. Gluten free? What are we getting, Debbie? Gluten free pizza! Let's make our way back to Italy, to Rome. <laughs> It's a half an hour walk to pizza, and I'm really hungry, so we're gonna have a little gluten free snack. Thank you. Quick note look at these beautiful streets. You just go down the side road, and you feel like you're in a small Italian town, even though we're in the center of Rome. And the, and the biggest boulevard is right next door. But moving on, we're on a bit of a timeline because Gabriele is gonna come pick us up after work. And after those crazy little beautiful streets, we're in Campo de Fiori which is this beautiful market, and it looks like it's full-blown right now. We've got everything. Lovely. Beautiful. That smells beautiful. All those fresh produce. I just can't stop smiling. All I know. Day. All day, every day. It's little streets everywhere. We're almost at the restaurant, but we just walked by a beautiful church and a guy playing cello. People painting on the road, like this is so good. And like vines on the, on the little restaurant walls. This is insane. It's like it's so smiling. a little cartoon over here. Reality check. It said they opened at 11, but they're having a problem. So apparently they don't open until noon. Bit of a wild goose chase to get here. Uh, it is very gluten-free here. They have gluten-free beer and everything, but yeah, they're having problems. Maybe the oven's not firing up or something. But we'll have to find an alternative or wait until 12. Which is actually only 20 minutes. Which is not, which is not far away. It's just that, is it really going to open at 12? Okay, so we waited and we got our pizzas and they're gluten-free and look amazing! I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna be like, this tastes like normal dough. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in love with this pizza. With me? Mm. Both. Well, I was dough. But it's squishy and warm and delicious and I'm so happy we waited. Thank you so much for waiting with me. If it's like the pasta, then I might be really impressed because this looks fantastic. And we have yet to have pasta here in Roma. I'm gonna cut myself a nice pizza point. Something. Instantly one of the best pizzas ever had. Yeah, it's good. It's just. It's just so soft. It melts in your mouth the whole thing. The cheese, the pasta, so uh, the tomato sauce. The dough itself is very impressive gluten-free dough. Incredible. Um, okay, so we wow. couldn't finish it because we want to have some for later. So that was take it to go. so good. A beautiful, de like it's a delicacy. It's just. It's incredible. I have no words. I enjoy this pizza so much. I definitely could finish it, but I want to have some for later. So <laughs> take away. Gabby's going to pick us up and then it's nap time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Can't recommend the food here enough, huh? But who's, who doesn't say that? I mean, like it's. I guess I'm impressed. I think I was like, oh yeah, pizza in Italy, but gluten free. Same pizza. with pasta. But yeah, best pizza, best pasta I've ever had. Mm. I, I hate to say that, but it is. <laughs> it's the next day, the next afternoon. Gabri's back from work. We're now in Fras Frascati. Very well. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Which is a town overlooking Rome for the afternoon here. Just walking her, around. Our last day. Unfortunately, day our last day. Tomorrow we're leaving. Mm -hmm. So we're going to explore this little cute town.
Just walking through this little town, and I have to say, after being in Rome for the last couple of days, as amazing as that city is, it's busy, and it's just, you get up into the mountains in this little town, and all of a sudden it's peaceful. You've left all, all the stress of the big city behind. So we're just taking that in. Cherries. Yeah. Cherry. This is some local Frascati area wine. Enjoying our last couple of drinks and our last evening together. It's nice touching base after 11 years, and we're the same little kids, aren't we? Mm -mm. Yeah. He's saying everything. <laughs> I, I keep eating. What do you have to say for yourself? Gin tonic is good, and uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Drink I'm up. so I'm so happy to to have you in Italy and uh, to spend uh, these three days with me. And uh, You've been so let's see, and stuff, yeah. let's see if uh, we can meet uh, meet in uh, Canada. Yeah, he'll be in our future Canadian videos. I think things are picking up in this town now. It's uh, aperitivo hour, right? Which happy means, hour, which means, aperitivo. Which means happy hour. So it's getting a little more lively here. We really enjoy this place though because it's a bit of a breeze and it's not as warm as Rome. in the town because of this parade. There's a parade going down we the just, street we could have and right behind the car. We missed it by like a second. Maybe we could have been ahead of it, ahead of it. And I don't I don't think we can do a U-turn here. Maybe over here actually. We just have to wait for this parade to go by. I think it's something political. <laughs> like, like 10 seconds. That's it. Like just so close. <laughs> close. <laughs> and now we eat our last supper together. Beautiful mama food. What do you call it? Homemade food. This is my best friend from 10 years ago. Il Brucialano. There it is. That majestic monument. Altare de la Pat. Mm. Two. Yeah, two. So this way? No. <laughs> right, this way. Even after all these walks through cities and Google Mapsing, her sense of direction is still lagging. <laughs> That's right. Why are you using the be, knife? Be quiet. <laughs> be Italian, don't use the knife. The knife is going away. <laughs> no Italian. You use your fingers, right? <laughs> no. Caprese, salad, for being fit. Oh yes, healthy choice. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep in Devgit. Pasta when it's 30 degrees. Gabriel is showing me how to, how to spell my pasta mm. properly. Mm. Take it. Then you go on the side Pick and you try to... This is going to be a big oh, bite though. Oh yeah, man. Okay. Is this is too big. Is this up to code? Oh my god. Let's go. Yeah, it's an art, man. You have to. Mm, yeah, <laughs> sport. We interrupt this program to show you cookies that are shaped like the Colosseum. <laughs> hey, little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty small from back here. You're filming my chow. Yeah. No, let's do it again. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>